Choosing a doctor is one of the most important decisions that one has to make in life. And there are a couple of things you have to look for. Knowledge, compassion are two key things you want in a doctor. The doctor has to be able to understand and communicate with you. And vice versa, you have to be able to connect with your doctor to share what you're going through so that the doctor in return can use his or her knowledge to find a solution to the problem that you're trying to address. And ultimately, your goal is to be truly centered around the patient's needs. I enjoy practicing medicine. It's uh, truly a privilege to be able to take part in making someone feel better. When you have a patient who has a difficult problem, you leave the office, but that problem does not leave you. You go home and wherever you are, that stays with you. you know, it, it's hard to really close the office doors and not worry about your patients. So that aspect of it, uh, it's, it's a tremendous responsibility and it's a, it's a life that we choose and we, we en you have to enjoy uh, finding ways to help someone. Robotic surgery is, to me, one of the best application of technology in medicine. And our job as physicians is always to look over the horizon to see how we can better the care that we render to our patients. And when I was evaluating robotic surgery uh, almost a decade ago now, I was one of the first in the, in the nation to embark on robotic surgery. I see it as a way of lessening the insult on the body when we do surgery on our patient, a less invasive way of doing surgery. So to me, getting someone to return to work, getting someone to get back to a normal life, to return them to normal as quickly as possible, that's what we're always after, to lessen the, the impact of a problem on the patient.